All right, so here's just a quick example of um, converting basically between set builder and the listing method. So for example, one here, uh, we want to write the set using the listing method. Okay, so we're given the set here with the set builder notation or the set builder method, uh, whatever you want to call it. And we want to uh, express this or write this set using just the listing method. Okay, so uh, here, uh, this is the set of all x such that, remember such that could be a vertical bar or colon, so x such that x is an odd number between 10 and 16. Okay, what we think about, uh, what are the odd numbers between 10 and 16? So what are all the numbers? Uh, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, right? So if we just think about the odd numbers, uh, what are they? They're um, 11, 13, and 15, right? Uh, what's the next odd number? 17, but 17 is too big. It's not between 10 and 16. What about the other way? 11, the next odd number uh, lower than that is 9, but 9 is too small. It's not between 10 and 16. Okay, so this is it. Uh, but remember, for the listing method, we also have to have curly braces there. And they got to be curly braces. They can't be like brackets or parentheses or anything. Okay, so we talked about that in earlier videos. So that's our answer for part A. Uh, that's it. Um, part B, a uh, little bit different here. So uh, part B is the set of all y's. Remember, the variable name doesn't matter. Uh, y such that y is positive and divisible by 3. Okay? So what are all the positive numbers divisible by 3? Well, uh, 1 is not, 2 is not. Uh, 3 is, right? 3 is. So 3, um, what's next? 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, and so on. So basically every third number. Well, um, how many of these are there? Well, there are actually infinitely many, okay? So we, it, it's impossible to list out all of them because there are infinitely many of them. So what do we do in that case? Okay, well, first of all, um, we're doing the listing method. So start with an open curly brace like that. So let's put that first before we forget. Now, um, what we could do, remember in, the, in an earlier video when we talked about the set builder method, um, we also talked about using these ellipses, three dots here to continue the pattern. But we can do the same thing here. Okay, but what's different now is instead of doing comma more stuff, we're just going to end it here. Okay. So that's, um, let's maybe make that a little prettier. Okay, so uh, 3, 6, 9, 12, 15. And uh, this is our answer here, but I want to point out again, in case you didn't watch that earlier video, um, this just means, okay, these three dots here, they're uh, ellipses, they just mean uh, continue the pattern. Okay, so they just mean continue uh, the pattern. Continue what pattern? The pattern we established with these earlier numbers here. So we listed out five of these numbers, but usually it's enough to just list out three. But, um, you know, it's okay to list out more. Um, most people say it's okay anyway. Some people might disagree uh, for some reason. But anyway, um, just establish the pattern. Make it clear what the pattern is. So here we see uh, 3, 6, 9, 12, 15. I'll bet the next one's 18, and then 21, and 24, and 27, and 30, and so on. So what I'm doing is I'm listing all the multiples of 3. Okay, so basically uh, y such that y is positive and divisible by 3. Okay, so... Um, the smallest such number is 3. And again, you know, we can list these in any order, right? But um, it's better to list them increasing like this, so then it, we can establish a clear pattern here and then use these three dots here, the ellipses. Okay? So remember, these just mean continue the pattern. And um, this goes on forever and ever, so this never ends. Okay, so this is um, just an example of what's called an infinite set here, but we'll talk about that later. Anyway, that's um, the answer for part B. Okay, that's the answer for part B. So just this set here with three dots, and then this uh, is part of that there. So that's our answer for part B. Okay, remember these three dots just mean continue the pattern. So 3, 6, 9, 12, 15, uh, dot, dot, dot. So that's uh, two quick examples, I guess, of uh, describing sets, or converting, basically, um, from set builder to the listing method. So uh, coming up next, we'll go the other way around, pretty much. So that's uh, two quick examples here, and here's the answers again.